Yes, viewers, how are you? Welcome to this lesson. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mwangi Francis, and uh, this is Elimu TV, which is your station where you watch and learn. Uh, we are still talking about chemistry, and this is lesson two, Introduction to Chemistry, where we are looking at apparatus, since this is a practical subject. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the different pieces of apparatus. You'll also be able to represent the apparatus using diagrams, and you'll also be able to list down the correct use of these apparatus in the laboratory. So why do we need to study these apparatus? Being a practical, several experiments are conducted on matter so that we can make the correct observation which will lead us to making a sound conclusion. Therefore, there is need for us to learn about these apparatus. In addition to that, it is therefore paramount to know which apparatus to use, when and how, in order to arrive at the conclusion which will infer the desired outcome in a given experiment. So it is very important for us to understand these apparatus. So what is an apparatus? It is basically an instrument that we are going to use in making uh, readings or uh, in the laboratory. So we have different types of apparatus. We have apparatus which may be used to measure volume. We have apparatus which may be as a source of heat. And we also have apparatus that can be used to measure time, mass, and basically general laboratory apparatus. So we look each of them one at a time. So let's start with apparatus used to measure volume. On our screen there, you can see we have a measuring cylinder, a graduated measuring cylinder. That is one of the apparatus used to measure volume. We also have a syringe. We also have a burette, a pipette, and a volumetric flask. These are apparatus that are used to measure exact volume of liquids exact volume so they are, it means we have apparatus which may give us approximate volume of a given liquid so what about apparatus used to measure mass commonly we have an electronic beam balance or weighing machine we have uh, the locally used the beam balance that we normally use to measure mass in our day-to-day -day life activities what about uh, sources of heat? In the laboratory, when we may need to heat, we can use a Bunsen burner. We can as well as use a gas stove. And we can use a spirit lamp. All of them will give us heat that we may require in a given experiment. We can also use an electrical heater, which will enable us to uh, heat a given volume so that we can raise its temperature. Then we have general laboratory apparatus, which may range from a stripe-pond stand, a complete stand, cramp and stand. We may have a, a, micro, a microscope. We have vernier carriers, micrometer screw gauge. We have a, a post pestle and mortar. We may have forks. We may have tongs. There are several. Remember, this is general laboratory apparatus. So we need to stick to one at a time, which we are going to do in the following and as in the, pro, uh, in the preceding lesson. So one thing you will realize that most of the laboratory apparatus are made up of uh, grass. So it is very important for us to understand why this is so. One thing is that grass is an reactive to most laboratory reagents, most lab reagents and apparatus. And also, uh, it is visible and transparent. So it is possible for us to see what is taking place in a given reaction. This enables us not to break some of the laboratory rules. For instance, don't look directly. Instead, that's why we have the class being visible and transparent. So. Did we understand these uh, objectives of this lesson? So can we maybe uh, try and answer 
these questions, give it a try, and it will test you whether you have understood this lesson. So state at least three apparatus used to measure volume, approximately, and we have volumes, uh, apparatus which can be used to measure volume, exactly. State the reason why most laboratory apparatus are made up of uh, grass mat material. So for more information concerning or where you can get these apparatus, you can refer to secondary chemistry uh, students book one. You can as well as refer to Patel. This will give you each apparatus with its use. For more information and lesson three and four onwards, to form two, three, and four, you can reach us through an SMS. You can as well as find us on YouTube or you can visit our Facebook page or send us and uh, or tweet us at erimutv underscore ke. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to the next lesson.